What is up guys? Welcome back to the Big Bass Theory. Got another box opening. These are my favorite things to do. It's like Christmas every time I open one. So, I know you guys like them. I'm glad I can bring you some content. I have not seen, I have no idea what is in this box. Normally, we get the Monster or the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. We ain't getting that today. We upgraded to the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Comes with two extra items. Hopefully some different stuff. So, let's break this bad boy open and see what's inside. I was not prepared with something to actually cut this open with. Got it. So, as always, comes with the measuring tape. It doesn't look like there's anything different with the Elite. Um, it's got your measuring tape, tells you keeper size of each one, as well as you got your catch measure share. If you share your catches to MTB Keeper on Instagram, uh, enters you in a chance to win some cool prizes and some free stuff. So check it out. The very first thing we got is the Dibble. Usually has tips and tricks related to whatever is in the box. No, you're not supposed to peek at it. Oh, not supposed to peek at it. But it's also got cool little puzzles and fun games on it too. So there's the Dibble. You got your What's Inside card. She's going to keep track of this. Let us know the price of everything on the card and kind of where we're at with it. And your sticker's probably at the bottom, so... There's a sticker in here as well. Um, we'll get to that. So, first thing out of the box, it looks like these are going to be the new hooks that MTB is keeping or giving out. These are Harmony fishing hooks. They actually all look like they're the same size. If I'm going to guess, they are four aught hooks. Does it say on the keeper card? Does not. It does not say on the keeper card the size, but. I'm assuming those are some 4 out Harmony hooks. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh, really good hooks. I've used them before. Next on the list is the Lucky John Pro Series. These are little grubs. They're Tioga. Tioga is what they're called. So, these are little grubs. Uh, let's, let's open them up and take one out and take a look here. Pretty interesting. May actually just be a really small um, swim bait. So, very interesting. It's got a paddle tail on it. Um, so, we might throw that on a Ned rig. See if we can't get on anything um, with that. It's like perfect Ned rig size. Ned rig size. Um, color is orange chartreuse. Uh, they're 3.4 inches. And they are a six piece. So, um, not too bad. Lucky John Pro Series. Orange Chartreuse. What was the price on these? $3.99. $3.99. So, next up is a Realist Jerkbait. So, pretty cool jerkbait. Um, it's suspending, quarter ounce. Looking four to six feet um, is what it looks like. Isn't it not season for those? Uh, I guess we're kind of getting into fall. So the these don't will work again? really work too well in the summertime. They must not know that it's hot all the time here in Texas. So um, really tiny jerk bait. It's like the uh, Scout Junior. You want to compare it to my Scout? So the jerk baits that we're normally using are. This is the Scout from Guggen Squad. And this is also a four four to six footer. And this is the I mean this is the size difference there. Um so it's about an inch, if I were to say. 
Use measuring tape. About an inch difference. It's four inches long. And just shy of five inches long. So, um, about an inch shorter. It's black on the top with like a silver, really good shad color. Orange on the bottom. So, definitely a good, a good jerk bait. Um, let's be honest, she'll probably end up with this. She fishes jerk baits more than I do. But we'll definitely give it a go. If we start catching fish with it, then we might keep it in the tackle box. What was the price on the jerk bait? $13.99. $13.99 for the Realist Duo International jerk bait. Have you ever heard of a mean mouth bass? I have not. Well, if not, it's a hybrid between <coughs> a small mouth and a large mouth bass, or a small mouth and a spotted bass. So, what is it called? A mean mouth bass? Yeah. A uh, hybrid between a small mouth and a large mouth, or a small mouth and a spotted bass. That was news to me. She found that out in the Dibble. It says, while they are... Check out the Dibble. While they are rare, they, are us they usually have a greenish and brown appearance. Appearance. Greenish brown appearance. Uh, so hybrid bass, that'd be cool to catch. Um, I don't think we have any of them here, but if you do, let me know down in the comments if you ever caught one, seen one, heard of it. I've never heard of it personally. Um, so next thing on the list is the Booyah One Knocker. Um, really cool lipless. This is really big. It's really heavy. Um, if I were to guess, I would say half ounce. Doesn't say. It's a yellow perch color. Uh, so definitely should work out on some waters here. Let's break it open. So there it is. It's got really big treble hook on the front. Smaller one on the back there, which is typical on your lipless. Um, a lot of orange bottom stuff. A lot of orange in this box. So orange bottom, yellow perch color on the sides and then it just fades into like a uh, black gray on the top so looks pretty realistic booyah makes a good product um really loud knocker in there so it's just got one big knocker in there um hmm. so doesn't say anything about the knocker but Typical Booyah stuff, proven to catch bait, really good color. The the nice red eye um, gives them a, the bass a target to aim for when, they, when they're attacking it. I said half ounce, but... It's three fourths. It's three quarter ounce, so I was wrong. It's heavier than I thought it was. So this thing's three quarters of an ounce. Where'd you see that? Right there in the top. Oh, yeah. Three quarters of an ounce lipless crankbait. What's the price on that? Uh, $6.99. $6.99, guys. $6.99. So... Next on the list, uh, Livingston Lures. I've gotten lures from them as well before. This is a deep diving crankbait. This does me no good fishing from the banks. Um, so this will be the hardest one to do in a slam, depending on what else is in here. Um, deep diving. It says deep impact 18. Uh, it's three quarter ounce. Weight, uh, length is 3.15 inches, maximum depth 18 feet. Um, hmm. Let's open it up, guys. Let's take a look. So it's got the super big lip on it, very, very big, also has the red eyes, the blue kill spot on the side, and then uh, looks just like a, a citrus shad color. Yep, citrus sparkle is what they're calling it. So blue to green, yellow on the bottom with a little bit of orange. Now it says... So it says this thing, it says your lure must be powered on before sound selection. So, 
so super cool. These are contact points here. So one on the bottom here, one on the bottom here. You submerge this in water for five seconds and you grab it here. Um, and that super weird guys but I guess it makes sounds in the water so very 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 interested in this it'll make some sounds uh, it's gonna be really hard to fish it swims 18 foot I'm not going to have any water that I can fish 18 feet of water from the bank. Um, we do have similar ones like it. Um, the Guggen one is more similar. This one right here. More flatbang? So this is the Guggen flat banger, something that we would typically use a shallow diving crankbait. Um, so you can see they look very similar. Um, not very far off of each other. This is obviously much bigger. So we'll figure out what we can do with this guys. This one's not going to be easy um, for a slam, but you know, of course, we're going to try it out. I'm really curious about that sound, so we'll we'll definitely be on the lookout for the MTB slam video. If you've used this lure with a multi-touch uh, sound technology, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about it? Um, like I said, deep diving, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of use out of this. Um, price on this is probably freaking expensive. Eleven ninety nine for the uh, Livingston lures. Uh, so it looks like we've got a full pack of Excite baits here. This is a six count Raptor Tail Junior. So I do love me some creature baits. So very very cool bait. Um, so there it is, like a almost like a punching style bait. It's got some little appendages uh this will definitely catch some fish um really like thick appendages but then they go really thin so uh i think this thing is guaranteed to have some action um excite baits makes a really good product so definitely excited to use those <coughs> it says it's a high floater so excite baits for Raptor Tail Juniors? Yep. 460. So these are $4.60. Um, six pack. So not bad for, for what you get. Did you know that this thing makes three different sounds? It makes three different sounds. It makes a cross sound, a shed sound, and a silent mode. So it's got silent mode, which I don't know how that's a sound. Um, a cross sound and a shad sound on the li Livingston. So very, very, very cool. These are interesting. These are Nico rigs. Uh, this is a Nico rig, the best lures on tour, weighted rigged and ready to go. See back for technique. That's a kit. It is a kit. It's like a Nico rig kit. Comes with a boneless, bonus weedless hook. Um, Size one hook is what it says. That's a teeny tiny little hook. It is. So it looks like it has a nail weight in the head. And then you got your you hook it like a, a wacky rig hook. So instead of sitting sideways like a wacky rig and kind of folding over, this will sit there straight up and down. And then when you hop it, it'll do that wacky rig movement and then go back to standing straight up. So it's just a little trick worm. And I think this these rigs are probably removable. All it is is little O-rings. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I suppose we can open this up. Green pumpkin colors, Perfection Lures is the, uh, the brand on it. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. She's going to open this up because it's hard for me. We only got one more item in here. So, um, I've seen these a lot. I've really been wanting them. It's a huge package. It takes up the entire box. 
Um, but this is Death Wish. Um, some swim baits. What color is this? this is hand, they're hand poured swim baits. Uh, let's see. This the color they're calling this is Corpse. So they're more of like a spooky themed swim bait company. Let's see if I can get them without flying all over the place. But there is your swim bait right there. So it's got the, the hook slot down here at the bottom. Very, very soft plastic. I'm not sure if the eyes are stickers or if they were poured them in, into that like that, but the stickers are definitely like a harder material. Um, tail's got quite a bit of action on it. They're small, so a lot of glitter in there. So that's going to be a cool one to use. I've been seeing a lot of other people getting these in their boxes over the last couple months and been wondering where mine were. So here they are. So, Death Wish, uh, super cool packaging, probably the best packaging I've ever seen on any bait. <laughs> so, in the box here, you got a booklet, it says Junk Fishing 101. Uh, junk Fishing is catching a fish on a variety of lures without falling into a set pattern and look for different, this looks different to different people. So, ha. Huh? So, some tips to junk fishing, just kind of throwing everything, which is kind of what we do when we do these MTB slams. So, I might put that to use. And then, here is the sticker for this month. It is just a catch co. Um, kind of an American flag look to it. So, super cool sticker. Um, definitely going on the box. Is the sticker clear? It is. So, it is a clear sticker. Um, that will say catch go on it. So definitely going to go on the box here. Be Back to the Nico rig. Um, so essentially this is the worm. So you can't see it, but there is a nail weight poured into the, uh, into the worm. So the, it looks like the worm is poured around the weight. So the weight is that long right there. Um, and then it's got a little O-ring on it. So not like a stretchy O-ring, like a wacky rig. This is like a keychain ring on it. So the worm will sit like this. So normally when you're wacky rigging something, you're going to wacky rig it in this fashion. And it'll float up and down like this. This one appears to go through this and then your line obviously tied on here so this will sit on the bottom like this when you pull it it'll kind of do a wacky rig motion and then float right back to that so new way to fish never never tried it um it does come with a weedless hook so instead of having just an exposed hook. It's got like a little plastic thing that hooks onto that back, that back barb on this hook and keeps it weedless um, until the fish bites it, of course. So, um, one thing I just found out, um, if when you're hooking these, if you haven't already fish, fished it, going through like this with the hook point is going to cause you to uh, hook the worm if you just take the eyelet, slide it through, and then tie your your bait on there, or tie this onto your line, you're good. So, very cool uh, bait. Uh, comes with, here's the weedless hook here. Oh, so it's not one that hooks on like that. Um, the weedless one has these little plastic things that just keep the weeds off. I can tell you right now, this is not going to be very weedless. Um, but they tried so these are just plastic they're they're basically like 30 pound mono so it's just really thick fishing line that just sticks out so i mean it is what it is i guess 
this hook is also bent. I don't know if that means anything. They're both like that, so never fish with something like this. It's a Nico rig is what they, they, they call it, so it's the Nico rig set. And we will uh, try it out. I'm going to try to get out tomorrow morning to do a slam video for you guys. Um, if I can't be on the lookout Friday, this video should be posted tonight, which is Wednesday. Um, be on the lookout for the slam video for sure. Um, so guys, um, that is it for the box. Just running through it real quick. We got the Nico rigs. Came with two hooks, one weedless, one not. Um, we got the Excite baits. So little punch and style crawl definitely catch something with that jerk bait should catch something with that um livingston lures uh i can't remember what this thing was called deep impact 18 if i catch something with this i'll be very surprised um I'm just gonna try a slow reel on the top and hopefully i just catch something's attention um these will be really cool to try on a ned rig these are the tiogo from lucky john pro series and the orange chartreuse. Um, here is our lipless crankbait from Booyah. Harmony hooks right there. Um, all in all, not a bad box. Uh, spent, I don't know how much money I spent on this box. I want to say it was $39.99. Um, it may have been $35.99. So what I'll do is post that information right here right above try not to cover her face but right here that information will be posted um as what i spent what we got for the box everything that we got in the box um so that's the the beauty of editing so all in all i like the box not a bad box by any means was it worth the extra money for the elite let's fish with the stuff and find out um but Monster or sorry, Mystery Tackle Box by Catch Co. Um, Shopcarls.com. Pick one of these up. Uh, this is the fastest this box has ever shipped to me. And uh, that is it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite lure in this box is, which one you would fish with first. And uh, if you have any suggestions for that 18 foot deep diving crankbait. Let me know.